I found there's a um, um, weakness of the UN programs in all over Burma, especially in Chin State, where I have access to talk to with the people. Um, in one, one, one of my trips in Chin State, one teacher came up to me with the UNICEF box and uh, he was very upset and angry and he, he told me, um, Sema Cherry, uh, Sema Cherry is like teacher Cherry, tell the UNICEF not to send us this box anymore. And I was very surprised. I was, why? They, they are trying to help your village and your school. And the school is torn apart in that particular village. It's bending. Um, so he said, we have to pay 20,000 chat for this, uh, this piece of box. And I looked at the box. It's the curriculum, a little bit of pencils and, you know, um, exercise book and stuff like that. And so basically, in order, the UNICEF, uh, from maybe their Rangoon office have sent those boxes to Chin villages with free. But the education department in different levels have co collected tax or charge um, for any uh, supplies that UNICEF has used. So that becomes a big burden for the villagers, especially in that particular village. Um, the kids who are 13, 14 years old was supposed to be in school, have to go and work at the farm in order to earn 20,000 chat. That means that with UNICEF uh, supply or box, they are, they're having to work in the farm. They, they didn't go to school. So, there's so uh, that's only one example. There are so many other examples that I, I can illustrate. Um, so there's, a, in my opinion, it's, there's a huge lack of uh, proper monitoring mechanism, how their supplies, how their help have been carried out in a very ground level, uh, in a very grassroots level, um, which we don't see at the moment yet. And with the Chin State is facing a um, terrible food crisis, um, which happened every 50 years. And of course, the Bur Burmese military regime does not prepare anything to help the people. And um, some of the UN uh, agency have tried to help the local people, but um, what some of the the uh, cases that we found out is with the 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 programs they call food for work, and so they they come up with rice rice bags in a village, but then the villagers have to work to make the road to make some certain works and um, to earn the food, um, to some extent, it looks okay because people should, you know, should work hard and they should not be lazy. They should not be independent. But there's a problem with um, um, widows and elderly people and the most um, vulnerable people, people in the village. Because, for example, when when Granny ha cannot work, she cannot earn any any rice. Or when the parents got sick in, in a very remote area in Chin State, the children have to work. I've seen many children working in that kind of food for work, which is against the UN law under the CRC. Um, so um, the UN programs, the implementing uh, agencies should really think about how their programs are being implemented. Are they being uh, incomprehensive with their own the UN laws that uh, prohibit child laborers? prohibit um, any kind of forced labor. In Chin State, um, some of the UN programs um, in, uh, a year, two or, two or three years ago, um, one of the programs that they implemented in, in Hakka, like in a bigger city, was that um, they, they have these, um, some plantations. And in order to do that, they, they also have to hire a local uh, staff. And um, apparently they start, they hire uh, uh, women. At, at the same time, um, they also um, employ the Burmese military uh, officials to, to work with um, their local staff. So um, some of the programs that, uh, that um, the, some of the UN programs in Chin State um, has caused some social problems because um, According to the UN principle, they also have to hire uh, a women or, and also someone who is from lo local community, which they do. 
um, but uh, the the bosses or supervisors of um, the the local staff are military uh, officials. So the Chin women and military officials who are mostly Burmans um, are working together, whereas other um, Chin boys or young educated people are left out without job. So it creates uh, social tensions in, in some of the communities. And um, in one particular, um, some of the, the, the with this food for work, um, although SPDC, the Burmese military soldiers, do not come and ask for forced labor, um, the UN office, uh, UN office has asked people to make the road. And the road is very useful for um, the, the villages, for them to, to be able to travel, to export their farms, their, their farm products. Um, but it also helped the, the soldiers to go from one village to the other village uh, where they can control the population. So um, who is really uh, benefit from these road constructions? It's, it's, that's a, a big question mark.